Hey, it's Miles Grant from thegreenmiles.com, and I'm here at the Invisible Crosswalk. I say invisible because even though there's a crosswalk marked there, the cars don't seem to see it because they're coming down a hill where they're flying down that hill at about 40 miles an hour. What they'll usually do is tap their brakes for pedestrians in the crosswalk, and I think they think that that's about the same thing as stopping, but they're in a real hurry. From the other side, down here, these cars are coming from East Falls Church, and as you can see, it's a straightaway. Those cars, a lot of them are coming off I-66, used to go in 60 miles an hour, and they get off that thing, and they fly up here, and they know that hill is coming. So they're trying to get a lot of momentum to get up that hill. Again, they'll give you a little tap of the brakes just to let you know they care, but they won't stop. Another problem here for the cars is the sign that's right behind me here. There's a 35 mile an hour speed limit sign saying, go fast, right next to this crosswalk. So it's invisible for the cars. It's also invisible for the pedestrians because they know those cars ain't stopping. If you're smart, you're going to be crossing the street someplace else. You're either going to be crossing back at East Falls Church where there's an actual crosswalk with a stoplight and a light to say cross or not, or you're going to be waiting for a better stretch up that hill where the cars are going slower before they hit the big downhill and the downhill slalom here for the straightaway. It also seems to be invisible for the police because I've never, in the year that I've been living here, seen a cop here either enforcing the crosswalk or even one of those uh, those speed limit signs that says you're going this fast that at least, you know, let's drivers know somebody cares. But as much as I complain about this crosswalk here on Sycamore, about where it turns into Roosevelt, close to the Falls Church Arlington line, at least I don't have to cross the street every day up at the corner of Roosevelt and Wilson. So here I am at the intersection of Roosevelt and Wilson Boulevard, right at the corner of Falls Church and Arlington. You can see here, there is no crosswalk behind me across Roosevelt. So if you were at this corner, and the block that I'm on here has a gas station here, but this block has not one but two big apartment complexes, one big condo building, and lots of homes. So if these people want to cross this street behind me, there's no crosswalk here. There's actually no crosswalk. See, let's see, where is that pole? That pole right there is where the crosswalk signal should be. There's no crosswalk there. If you wanted to cross from this corner over to the shopping complex on the other side of the street, what you would have to do is go up to the next intersection, way back down there, and cross the street up there, and then walk back down here. Now, if you were one of the hundreds, if not thousands of people who live on this block, and you wanted to go to Eden Center, one of the most popular shopping centers in the region that's behind me, you can't get there from here. Well, I used to cross up at that crosswalk on Sycamore here, heading up towards Falls Church. But really, I got sick of a driver was trying to hit me. The driver's not caring there's a crosswalk there. So instead, I do my best to do a, uh, a scamper here. Because frankly, it's safer. This is a stretch further down towards East Falls Church Metro, where I can see the cars coming. They're not around that corner on that hill. At least I can cross here, and then I can look the other way here and see that there's nobody coming this way. I definitely feel safer here, at least, you know, I know the cars aren't going to stop for me, but if, at least if I can see there's no cars, I feel safe. You can see what it's like, the feeling of safety it gives you to be a pedestrian around here. I'm hoping once East Falls Church Metro, the parking lots get redeveloped up here, that the pedestrian access up here will be better, and hopefully this will be less of a concern.